Welcome to my channel. My name is Nika. I'm a 29 year old graduate student at Columbia University, a part time yoga instructor, a part time DEIA professional. I'm just doing like all the things. I'm also interning at the UN right now. But I am telling you, this is my year of doing nothing and getting everything. So I've really been trying to cut down on just the random things that I've been doing. And this is my February plan with me. So we're accomplishing things, we're just not doing the most this year. I am drinking the Bloom, like berry flavored super greens. It's actually really good. It does have like that fake sweet taste to it. I'm not a huge fan of stevia, like that fake little sugar thing. Stevia is in this. It's always really important to look at the ingredients because then you'll know. <laughs> You'll like start to notice things that you like and what you don't like. And when I saw Stevia was in this, I was like, oh, I tasted it. Like that's why I think it tastes kind of weird. But overall for like greens and like what is actually in it, like there's a lot of greens, like kale and spinach and apples and fruit. So I'm like, overall it tastes pretty good in my perspective. So get it if you want to. If you're drinking something, I think normally when I do these, I try to drink coffee, but honestly it is 2.26 right now, so it's a little too late for coffee for me. But let me know what you're drinking in the comments below as we plan for February. I'm really excited because this is my second plan with me and it's actually like the last week of January so I'm getting this like done quite early. I'm gonna go ahead and start my screen recording now. So I got this template from Jenna Hong and I'll leave the link to her video and the template below but I basically just made it like the black girl version so I added my own little photos, my own little quotes. And then I have my big vision board of the year at the bottom here. My goal is to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It's quite ambitious because my goal for last year was 1,000 subscribers and we got to like 860 something. So if you're new here, please subscribe. I would love you forever and it would really just make such a huge difference for me. And it'll keep these videos coming. So like, you know, let's one hand washes the other. If you want like a more in-depth like explanation of my vision board you can watch my first January plan with me where I went a little bit more in depth on like the different aspects of my vision board but this is it and honestly for the most part I think it's pretty self-explanatory so let's go into my monthly goals should we do yearly first I don't know this is honestly like my fourth plan with me so <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing yet but we'll figure it out eventually so my yearly goals, ooh, okay, I've actually been doing quite well. So journal once a week, I've been doing that for January. One first date a month, I did go on a first date in January. I do not wish to see the gentleman again, but I put myself out there and that's all that matters. Learn piano, I actually got a well, I found my piano teacher or the piano program that I want to do. I just somehow need to get together all the money to like do it. So that's kind of on my to-do list and hopefully I can sign up. It starts February 2nd, so I really have to kind of get the money together sooner rather than later, but I'm really excited about that. And honestly, I feel like half of these yearly goals are kind of into my monthly goals. So let's just go right into January so we can kind of check some things off. <laughs> 
So my first goal for my career was to revamp and rebrand my YouTube channel. We did that. I don't know if you've noticed, but we have a new introduction, new transitions, new editing template, new intro, outro. That's been really great. Film three podcast episodes a month. So I did film one, so I'm really proud of myself for that. And then my goal for tomorrow is to actually film two of them back to back just to kind of get them over with. So we still have a week. It's like January 23rd right now. So hopefully I can, fingers crossed, do that. Another goal of mine was to apply to 10 jobs. I honestly, drum roll please. <laughs> This month I got invited to some PhD program interviews, so that's kind of been taking my focus and not so much looking for jobs elsewhere, but we'll see what happens when it comes to that. I also, I think I applied to maybe like four or five jobs, but I didn't, like I kind of spayed, what is it called when you like spray your resume around and you're not really like tailoring it to each job. So like. I'm not surprised I haven't heard anything back from any of the jobs I applied to. I want to be very intentional moving forward and like super tailing my resume, super like editing my cover letter. So that's something I'm still working on. So my personal goals, interview three therapists. Did not do that, <laughs> but I did find, um, well I kind of just started the process. So I had to fill out these forms on the Columbia website in order to get a therapist to see me. So I filled out those forms this weekend. So I feel like we're going in the right direction. So I'm just gonna take that off. 30 minutes of Spanish per day. That did not happen. I don't even think I opened the Duolingo app at all. So for February, I think my goals will be simply to open up the Duolingo app. I am going to a Spanish speaking country in the middle of February. So hopefully I'll be better than I am now when I go to the country. Budget for January, I have been doing really well at my budgeting. I actually organized my Google calendar. So I have like on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are my opportunities to edit my budget. I've been using this budget planner from, from Poppy A. I'll leave a link down below this video isn't sponsored but i do think i have like a discount code link like an affiliate link so i'll put that down below too but basically you have like these little pages to write down all of your expenses and you have like one like per week so every week i just make sure i update all the money i'm spending i don't really have a set budget right now because i haven't budgeted in so long i'm just trying to figure out like where's my money going in the first place and actually how much money am I making because I don't even really know because I have so many jobs and I wasn't getting paid for a while and now I'm getting paid for it so things are just kind of in flux but I am definitely on my way to becoming the master of my own finances and hopefully I can get a job and then maybe I'll be more inspired to budget because I would have more money to spend or to save and invest. <laughs> <laughs> Great. The next thing is to find a piano teacher. I just mentioned this when we were looking at my yearly goals, but I did find a piano program that I want to go to. It's like $600, which isn't that much when I think about how much I was going to spend to take piano lessons at Columbia University, like $5,000 compared to this one, which is like the same amount of time, like an entire semester. They're group classes though, so not individual classes, but still they're like $600. So, so much more affordable. I definitely, definitely want to enroll and I believe it starts February 2nd. I sent them an email over the weekend just to see if they still have spots because it wasn't clear on how to like register on the website. So if I don't hear from them today, then I'll probably give them a call tomorrow. And then health and fitness. I did start with class pass. I really enjoyed it, but I realized that like 
I need a lot more credits than I thought I did. I thought some of the studios would be a little bit more affordable credit wise, but I do think I want to stick with the intro plan. I think it was like 45 credits. And I think I'm just going to try to find studios that are a little bit less expensive. Because right now I love Solid Core. I love Soul Cycle. I love Barry's Bootcamp. And they are the most expensive classes on the app right now. So there's some smaller studios in Williamsburg that I want to try out. And I did enroll in Barry's intro, like new person package deal. So I have three classes there. So like I'm just trying to like kind of put all the puzzle pieces together for my fitness plan and we're going to have a fitness vlog coming up in February. I'll talk about that later, but basically just to pre prepare for my trip. This is actually interesting because I think this was honestly Jenna's goal and not mine. It just copied over on the template and I was like, actually, this is a pretty great goal. So first half of the month sleeping by 10 p.m. on weekends and then second half of the month, 9.30 p.m. on weekdays. I totally forgot about these goals, but I actually have been really good at doing them. Like literally last night I was in bed by 9.30, partially because I'm reading Holly right now by Stephen King and I was like, ready to go to bed because I want to finish it because I'm so close to the end. But yeah, like going to sleep that early. I haven't been waking up earlier. Honestly, I woke up kind of late today, but I just feel more well rested and I just feel like I'm just like in a better place. So I really, really appreciate those goals. Thank you, Jenna, for that. End of the month reflection, I'm going to take this a little personally and do this off camera, just reflect to myself. I honestly will probably do this in my journal and not so much on Notion, but if you like digital journaling, you do you girl. I just don't care for it. <laughs> oh my God, I can't stop laughing at myself. I literally did this whole February plan with me and I didn't even make goals. February. <laughs> That's like the whole point of the video. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my god. I am so silly. That is like actually hilarious. Oh my god. Do not at me. That is so embarrassing. <laughs> Wow, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, so here we are back at February. So let's do our February goals for the career. I honestly want to keep this like filming three podcast episodes. So then in March when I launch, hopefully I'll have six videos or six podcast episodes already done. So I don't feel pressured to like keep doing them. So I wanna do that. I'm gonna lower this to like four jobs because I want to stick with things that are truly like aligned for me moving forward. I don't want to be like spraying and praying. I want to be moving in alignment and just attracting what is for me. So four jobs it is. I need to prep for PhD interviews because I have those coming up in February, which is crazy i'm i'm just really happy i did not think i was even going to have a chance this cycle like i was fully preparing to apply another cycle and i still might need to but i'm just really happy that i i i have a shot i have two interviews hopefully in the next couple of weeks i'll get more invitations but even if i just get my two it's like i have a shot i have a shot to really do this so i'm really happy and grateful for that Anything else that I want to do for my career? I don't think so. Like, it's less is more. Oh, I do want to write my paper for my UN maternity paper. And then last but not least, I'm like, what else? I think that should be it. I do think less is more. So we'll do that. Oh, and then I want to review SPSS. For speaking points, this honestly kind of goes underneath PhD prep interview, though, if I'm being honest. So those are my career goals for February. Uh, for my personal goals, we're actually going to keep the interview three therapists because now that I've done the setup work by like filling out the paperwork, I should be able to start moving in the right direction 
towards being able to interview therapists, hopefully in February. Three minutes of Spanish a day just like was not working for me. Like I quite literally could not go from like zero to 30. Like that was just way too much. So I think my goal is gonna be a lot smaller and a lot more obtainable and just put open the Duolingo app once a day. I think that's gonna work out a lot better and in my favor. Journaling once a week has been a really good personal goal of mine. I really liked it and I was able to achieve it. So like, let's just keep going. Budgeting this time for February. I've been really good in December. So like, that's another thing. I feel like sometimes people accomplish goals and then they want to just achieve more. Like, sometimes it's good to just like maintain a consistency and a habit. Like for YouTube, like making two videos a week it's kind of crazy for me, but like I'm just proud of myself for just like keep going and like keep like pursuing the habit basically. Should I add anything to my career for my YouTube? Uh, I think it's fine. Um, and then I figured out my piano teacher, so I just need to sign up for the piano class. I think it's like 600 call and follow up because I do think it starts February 2nd. And then health and fitness, we are actually going to play with veganism this month. Probably for two weeks because I want to just slim down for the trip that I'm going on. And then we're also going to do 12, 3, 30. Probably just for two weeks because I want to slim down for the trip that I'm going on. <laughs> I'll probably make like a little fitness vlog and like a little vegan vlog about that just because like I always find it like fun and inspiring to see like what people do to like get in the best shape for like whatever events that they're preparing for and then I want to actually just keep this goal like let's just keep trying to get to sleep by 9 30 I really love that okay so this probably should have came way earlier in the video I'm living I'm learning I'm telling you this is like my fourth plan with me i haven't really been doing these often but yeah so <laughs> we actually have goals for february i did do the youtube goals so we did do that now i'm gonna end the screen so let's do my weekly check-in the this is like my favorite page i cannot lie this is my favorite page I'm gonna have to kind of block some of this out because it's like my financial information. But basically, every, like at the beginning of every week, I haven't done it for this week yet, but I like to fill this in and it just makes me feel good. And then I write down like what I wanna accomplish for the week. So we're filming our February plan with me right now. So checking that off. Then I wanna film a New York City apartment update because so many of you guys have asked me for that and I just have kind of been dragging my feet. Plus I did wanna take down my Christmas tree before I did it, just so like if someone's watching it in the summer, they're not like, why does she have a Christmas tree up? <laughs> so that is also gonna be filmed this week. Waxing, I do my own waxes, like for my armpits and my legs and stuff, and I've just been like very like far behind, like I don't think I've done it at all. Probably because I didn't do anything in December or in January, <laughs> but like now that I have this trip coming up, I'm like, let me get back on top of waxing myself and then I also want to make like a professional appointment because we're going to a warm country so I'll be wearing a bikini and I don't want to be like self-conscious about my bikini area so that's kind of on my mind for this week and kind of just the next two weeks really one small thing for the apartment guys come here this has been something that I've been doing for the entire month of January and it has changed my life. Like honestly, I would get so overwhelmed when I thought about all the things that I need for my apartment and I'll put them all in my Amazon cart and the total would be like $300 or $400 and I'll be like, oh my God, like I just can't afford to spend that right now and everything, but literally just taking it piece by piece like if you guys watched my vlog from last week my weekend in my life i'll put it up here 
but I put together a little she rack that I got and it's really just made a huge difference like I come in I put my shoes away the area just stays so much like cleaner and nicer and then this week I got a little mat for my cat and like his cat food because he always makes like a huge mess and so now I'm like so much less anxious where I hear him like digging in his bowl because I'm like oh he has the mat underneath it now so I don't have to worry about the food going everywhere but like literally I just keep a uh, like my wish list on my Amazon I just add everything in there and once a week I just buy something small off of the list and it just really helps to keep it from being like a huge financial burden I live by myself I don't know if you live by yourself or maybe you have roommates or you're just kind of overwhelmed with furnishing a place of your own for the first time I highly recommend starting the one small thing for the year apartment and just getting one small thing weekly like it literally makes such a huge difference over time Whew. now that i'm done preaching to the choir <laughs> the next thing on my list is meal prep i have been actually making some really fun recipes and i'll show you guys that a little bit later in the plan with me and honestly this is not an exhaustive list of everything that i have to do for this week nor is it like everything that i kind of want to do but it's Tuesday, I haven't really listed everything out yet, and I realized that some weeks I'm super productive, and some weeks I'm not, and I'm coming off of my period, and like, my appetite's fluctuating, my energy is fluctuating, and I'm starting to notice that I think the weeks right after my period, I'm a lot less productive, versus the weeks leading into my period, I'm like super productive. So that's just something that I'm learning about myself, and I'm not, putting any pressure for me to do anything more than what's necessary because once again, this is my year of nothing. <sighs> All right, so next thing here, we have our random journal entries. I'm not really going to go into that because again, I don't do digital journaling. I honestly might delete this because I just don't use it, but it's in a template if you'd like it. So for February, I'm actually really excited because I have all of my content planned for February already. So we have the plan with me that's gonna come out, my New York City apartment update, we have the ideal nighttime routine, which I do kinda wanna go into that with you guys because I feel like the way I'm thinking about routines has been changing for 2024. I have a few spiritual videos that I want to put out for you guys. I'm getting a new in February so I want to show that and then uh, I don't know like uh, some of these things I kind of want to keep for myself as like a little secret but I don't know we'll see if I cover them or not but I'm just really happy that I have everything planned out for February because if you watch my January video my January plan with me I had like nothing like absolutely nothing planned out and I was scrambling so I'm really happy that I'm able to just put more thought into my YouTube strategy because usually like it's very last minute and I'm just like rushing to get a video up. So YouTube brain dump, which honestly, I don't know if there's a lot here. Yeah, there's like two things here and I actually already filmed this and that's not the name that I'm using. <laughs> Um, so if you guys have any like video requests or video ideas, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll add them here. I also added this little piece. I think this is going to just be like my YouTube knowledge hub because I was watching someone's videos and I noticed that they use thematic for music and SoundCloud. So I think I'm going to spend some time just like navigating those platforms to see if I can find like cooler music now. Right now I use like Zap Splat for like my cartoony sounds and then I also use Epidemic Sounds which is pretty popular. So I don't know, just like thinking about new things. Um, Focus Hub, I love this. Nothing's really changing here. I did, um, I'm not doing this abstract actually I did change like the playlist here just to ones that like I created and ones that I like and then there's the Pandormo stuff that I honestly it's my year of nothing so I haven't really been doing these too much <laughs> I have not been trying to be productive if I'm being honest my podcast which is launching in March fingers crossed but you guys have seen this in my January video. There's also not much to update. I haven't really had any new episode ideas because I'm still 
trying to get through the episode ideas I've already had. So just hang in there with me, bear with me. Hopefully it'll be live soon. 8020 lifestyle, this is also something that was kind of a holdover from Jenna's original template that I don't really use. But what I do use and what I do really like is this meals and recipes guide. So I cook a lot. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably see what I eat every day because I'm absolutely obsessed with posting it. Um, and so I have been adding just my recipes as I move throughout the week into here and I really love that because Earlier in the month, I spent like literally 30 minutes just looking for this one recipe that I made because I wanted to make it again. So I love just having this knowledge base and being able to go through everything. So this is something, strawberry yogurt clusters, this is something new that I'm trying to make this week as like a little snack or like a little dessert. So I found the recipe. Oh, I usually try to put the link, but I guess this one I didn't put the link. But it's pretty easy, so I just put the ingredients and the instructions, and then let's see. I also made the chopped tuna green bean salad for lunch today, and it was really, really good. Like, I highly recommend. And so this one I did it. I just put the ingredients here, the instructions is a chopped salad, so you just chop everything up. <laughs> and then I put this link here, that's where I got the recipe, it's by Mob. And so, yeah, I really just been enjoying using this and like watching everything kind of grow because it's just a really great resource to have once again. Like I have really, really loved having this section. And I think I might just move this over to like the main section and maybe get rid of the 8020. I don't know. Maybe in February I'll try to use it a little bit more and see if I like it. Therapy notes, the next thing, we're just gonna go ahead and skip that because I still don't have a therapist. Also, I'm not sure if I would share my therapy notes with you guys. We gotta keep some things to ourselves, you know? But I love the way she set this up, so I definitely want to keep using it. And I also feel like, like, I feel gross. I kind of feel like I'm reading someone's diary. Like, I don't want to be reading this. <laughs> One thing I love is the books in Media Hub. So right now I share with you guys that I'm reading Holly by Stephen King. I also just posted my Verity book review. So if you haven't seen that and you're looking for book recommendations, I highly recommend Verity and you can watch my thoughts on it here. But I'm really excited to share for February, my book is going to be Pineapple Street which is something that's been on my list for a while. I got it from the library so it's like it has like my name on it and it's like cold and stuff but I'm, I'm like so excited to read this because it's been on my list I keep my list here just like everything that I want to read and then clearly as you can see Pineapple Street is on the list so I'm happy that I have it and once I read it I will be making a book review video and I'll let you guys know my thoughts but I'm really really looking forward to this one and then Holly has actually been really good too so I'm gonna do that I haven't finished it yet so once I finish Holly I will kind of fill out this book database and then I'll also film a book review video for you guys so you guys can hear my thoughts about it content trackers the piece de la resistance because I actually love tracking my YouTube growth I'm quite sure it hasn't been that dramatic because I did take two weeks off of January just to like not post and take a break after vlogmas because I posted so much content in Vlogmas. So let's see. And I do still have like a little bit of time, but we'll do February. I believe I'm at like 877, but let me double check. Oh, 878, okay. And then my watch time is 2804. Oh, yay! Okay, we're like doing things. Okay, February and then 2024. 1,000 or 139,518. And honestly, we still have a couple of days because I'm filming this right now and it is the 23rd. So we have about eight days left in January, but I don't know if I'm gonna have any huge major changes until then. If you haven't already, thank you. <laughs> 
Um, but let's see what my goals were for my YouTube channel. I think it was like 900 if I'm not, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So my goal was 900 subscribers. I didn't get there. I honestly think I'm going to keep the goal at 900 for February just because I think maybe, maybe, maybe I could do it. Okay, whatever. That's not working. So 900. And then honestly, let's keep the same watch time goal. I'm actually going to lower it a bit because it is hard for me to get watch time. So let's do 2850 at least. Maybe. 2820 and then maybe we'll do 890 for the subscriber goal i think i can hit that i do want a win it feels good when you accomplish your goals so i'm trying to like tame it in a little bit and then views we're at 135 so let's see if we can get to 140 and then actual growth we'll do 878 oops watch time 2800 and then it was like 135, 5, 1, 8. So didn't my goal? No. But hopefully next month we will. So I'm really excited about that. I also don't really track anything else, even though I do have the option to track my Instagram and my TikTok. I know personally, oh, and my podcast, I just know personally I'm not really putting my energy and see either of those platforms. So any growth that's happening isn't the result of any effort on my part. So <laughs> I think right now it's my year of doing nothing and I'm trying to get comfortable with my new YouTube format. So I'm gonna give myself this quarter just to focus on YouTube and then hopefully in Q2, we can come back and start focusing a little bit more on Instagram and on TikTok. I think that sounds really good. And my podcast will be launch launching in March as well. So. We'll have a lot more things to do. Quotes that I like. Um, okay, I'm gonna read you guys this quote. It was in my <laughs> vlog as well. I do, I'm like a quote whore. Like I literally love them. So to some people, surrender may have negative connotations, implying defeat, giving up, failing to rise to the challenges of life, becoming lethargic, and so on. True surrender, however, is something entirely different. It does not mean to passively put up with whatever situation you find yourself in and to do nothing about it, nor does it mean to cease making plans or initiating positive action. Surrender is the simple but profound wisdom of yielding to life rather than opposing the flow of life. Surrender is the simple but profound wisdom of yielding to life rather than opposing the flow of life. Eckhart Tolle, oh, it just makes me feel so good. The yoga class I've been teaching this month has been all about surrender. And we've been doing Fallen Angel, which is such a like crown chakra, like falling energy. So uh, I've just been really embodying this and loving this and it just makes me so happy. So I hope that makes you happy as well. Dream long, I have, I actually really love this and I brought this over from my own personal template that actually was influenced by Alexis Eldred's template, but I haven't actually been using it. I do write my dreams when I wake up, like sometimes in my physical journal, sometimes on here. So I don't know. I just love like naming them and then putting like random little emojis, <laughs> but it's just fun to record your dreams sometimes. And then ideal routines. I'm actually posting my ideal morning routine vlogs shortly so you guys can look out to that coming out this week or last week i don't know time gets weird when you're on youtube but literally i was looking at this and i was like wow these timings of everything like the 5 15 a.m to like 5 45 a.m giving yourself 30 minutes to do certain things like i just that really doesn't align with like the year of doing nothing so i'm probably going to make my own little version of that this is like currently Jenna's like template like the way it is if you just copy and paste it so I want to take some time this week just to figure out what my ideal like routines are because even this right here like I don't like showering in the morning I like to shower in the evening or honestly I prefer to take baths in the evening so like there's just stuff here that I want to like figure out and switch up and so 
yeah we'll be figuring that out soon and then also kind of just living life a little bit more intuitively like right now i don't i have the luxury of not having to be anywhere or do anything at a certain time and place like even in my internship at the un my boss has moved to a different country so like I don't even really need to go into the office anymore <laughs> so it's like I just have the luxury of crafting my own life without many responsibilities right now so I want to just take full advantage of that and like do nothing like literally just do things that make me happy do things for myself before I either go back to work or start my PhD program so that's kind of how I'm thinking of things and hopefully I'll put this on my weekly to-do list actually to do this for this week and we can kind of figure out what my ideal routines look like and the merch plan with me wow that's kind of crazy to say and I still have like some holdovers like things that I don't want to move this is actually a meal planning template that was by Alexis Eldridge that I actually like a lot better. So I might move that into the one that Jenna made. Oh my God, I have like a brain fart. But I like that I could like have my grocery list here and then I would like write down like the meals that I was having and stuff. But I don't know, we'll see. And then I have one for my career too. That is something I do want to organize because I have so many different jobs. I think I want to have like each of them to have their own like little notion dashboard because right now all of them just like live in notes and I'll have like my UN notes like my DIA notes my like whatever notes and I'm like can I just kind of like condense these somewhere so we'll see but yeah let me stop the screen recording Whew. Well, thank you so much for planning our Februarys together. I hope this was really helpful. Wait, did I make goals for February? Oh my God. I don't think I made any goals for February. Wow. I recorded. Sorry, I still think it's hilarious that I filmed my February plan with me for like 30 minutes and like did not even make goals for February. So here we are. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, please subscribe. My name is Nika. I love you so much. I hope you feel very organized and structured and just like ready to take February by storm. I'm drinking Bloom. Let me know in the comments below what you're drinking and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love me so much. Bye. I'm still laughing at myself.